Tu primo grande amore non ci lasceremo mai. Oh my god! Ciao! E Vincenzo Cantiello qui. I'm so 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 happy to take part to this interview with Destination Eurovision. My name is Terina Krasnovetska. Hey to Alicia Rega. Hello, io sono Eliana Gomez Blanco. Hello, vi di eri mai, vi ho conosciuto con Cambre e la Junior Eurovision che vi la indica now. Hi, it's Effie Gika. Zdravo, io sono Maria Spasovska. Kama Jobam, e sono Maria Mamatashvili. Zdravo, io sono Mila Moskov. Hola, soy Melanie Garcia, and I'm going to answer your question. And it's time for the seventh question. What's your favorite Eurovision and junior Eurovision song and why? My favorite Eurovision song is Rhythm and Side by Like Not It. I fell in love with that song since the first time I heard it. And um, besides mine, <laughs> I really love Mila's song, uh, Fire. It's just when I heard it the first time, I was, I was actually um, wearing my costume for the first time, which like when it was ready. And I had to stop everything and I was like, nope, I'm going to listen to Mila's song, okay? <laughs> Well, my favourite uh, Eurovision star would have to be the representative of Denmark in um, in 2019 um, with the song Love Is Forever. Um, I will always remember. I remember watching it actually, and this um, and I remember the whole stage performance, the way it all been la um, laid out. I remember. Oh, that is. It was so inspiring, and the song as well. I just loved it so much. Favorite Eurovision song is 1944 by Jamala. This singer is my idol, and her shows are always performed in sensual manner, so it's impossible uh, to not get in fascinated by her voice uh, and atmosphere she created. My like a favorite song, I would say like. I really liked Grigo's song. I every time I listen to it, like still, I still get like goosebumps. Um, there's so many amazing songs. I just can't like list them. I would say Destiny's song was amazing. I really liked it, and her performance was amazing. Um, Euphoria from the Eurovision was amazing. I love that song. So yeah. Well, I love this question because. Uh, my favorite Eurovision song, it's one of Elena from Estonia, it's Eurovision 2018 and it's called, the song, it's called La Forza and I really, really, really love it because it's like an opera but with rhythm, you know, and I don't know it's a mix but I love that mix <laughs> and I swear that when I said for the first time on TV I was like Oh my god oh wow and I really like it because I don't know I love Alina well yes I do um, from the from the Eurovision I do really like um, from 2018 no from 2019 the winner song it was like super cool I really love that song um, and from junior Eurovision hmm, I don't really know. I really like them all, but I would say um, Roxy's song just pretty great. So I would say Roxy. Well, my favorite Eurovision song is Rise Like a Phoenix by Conchita Viewers because in 2015 I went to um, the Eurovision Song Contest in Vienna and uh, I had the opportunity to take a picture with Conchita Viewers and after I sang on the stage of the of the Vienna stage in the Eurovision Song Contest, Conchita saw me, uh, Conchita listened to me uh, when I sang uh, uh, Tu Primo Grande Amore, and for this reason, she took me, literally, she took me, she hugged me, and, and she gave me her album with her autograph, with her signature, you know, and uh, it was such a good moment for me, you don't know, I, I don't know how to express in words, I was like just, Really? Are you really doing this to me? <laughs> and uh, about Junior Vision, I really love Not My Soul by Destiny, of course. 
My favorite Eurovision song would have to be um, Proud by Tamara and um, uh, Fall from the Sky by Arlena. She's from Albania and uh, those two songs really just empower me. So that's why I, I love them so much. It, they just bring a certain um, emotion that you don't get from a lot of songs and a, a lot of artists. And I think they touch a more sensitive topic. They, um, it's basically just making you believe that you're strong and making you believe in yourself. That's why I love them so much. And um, as for a junior Eurovision song, I, I can't choose. <laughs> like every, every song, especially from uh, when I was representing my country, every song brings a certain feeling back, a certain reminiscing feeling, like a certain moment, a certain time. So I really can't choose. It's mine, of course. Uh, I really like um, Arcade, the winning song Arcade from Duncan Lawrence. Um, its melody, it's perfect for my taste. Uh, and I enjoy it every time I listen to it. And I can say that I listen to it almost every week. So uh, it is one of my favorite songs from Eurovision. Um, one of my favorite songs from the Eurovision uh, at the moment is Soldi, I think. Soldi, Soldi. Uh, I don't know why. I was, you know, I was just sitting on the couch and uh, watching Eurovision and when the beat started, I, I fell in love with this song. <laughs> Yeah, uh, when when it comes uh, to Junior Eurovision, um, I think I can choose one because you know every single song is my favorite, and and I just can't. <laughs> Question number eight: Would you like to participate in the Eurovision Song Contest for adults in the future? Well, I wouldn't like. I would love to participate because it is it will be like a dream, you know. Junior Eurovision, it's a dream, but Eurovision is like, oh my god. <laughs> yes, definitely. I um, am looking forward to uh, like when I grew up. I really want to be on the adults on the Eurovision song contest because I think it's super cool, and I'll definitely want to be there. Of course, that's not even a question. Absolutely, uh, I would love to participate in Eurovision uh, Song Contest and feel the ma uh, the magic of uh, of the Eurovision stage again. It, it would be perfect. Of course, I would. <laughs> I'd love to. Um, I I hope so. I hope that I will in the next few years. So I'm looking forward to that. Of course. I will be happy all the emotions uh, I experienced uh, during the junior year vision again. I would, that would be amazing because I think, I mean Eurovision and junior Eurovision, I feel like they're very different yet very similar. So I think they would bring back like many memories. And if there would be someone which I competed against like in junior Eurovision, that would be even better. So I, there would be someone familiar with me. <laughs> Yes, definitely. The whole experience really has just made me be like, I really want to do it again. And then as an adult, it would be such a different experience again, but so memorable as well. I would definitely love to. Um, I feel like the amount of experience I got from the junior Eurovision, it would be like even more amazing to like participate in it again, but in the older version, which is like really like hard well, it, the junior year version was hard itself, but you know, that's like a different level of like adults and a lot of more like participants. But yeah, I would love to participate in it. Of course, it's really important for me to participate to the Eurovision Song Contest, but in Italy, it's really difficult because you have to pass like two steps, three steps. Who knows, maybe in a few years I will appear uh, on the Eurovision stage, but for now I'm not planning. Question number nine. 
who would you like to be in the future? Do you want to do something connected with music or something totally different? Well, I would like to go down the route of musical theatre and um, one, of my, one of my idols has to be Carrie Hope Fletcher. She has performed on West End multiple times and um, I've honestly, she, her performances are just amazing. So whenever, I, whenever I've seen her, I've been like, oh, I'd love to do what she's doing. So because I do a lot of acting and dancing as well as um, singing, incorporating that all in one would be just, that would be my dream is to just perform on stage. I would like to be a singer in the future. I would like to be someone important in the music world. I would like to appear in uh, in that world. Uh, it would be something really big if I could stand next to uh, my favorite singers. First of all, I would like to be a happy person, both with, with joy and a lot of smiles. Um, and I would love to improve myself more as a musician and uh, become a complete artist. That's a, that's a big dream. Well, I want to be a singer. Of course, I want to continue with my music career. I want to be an, an, an entertainer, you know, an artist, somebody who comes up on stage and brings um, just strength, you know? Like, for example, when you see Beyonce on stage, you just feel that immense power that she has, that immense, um, again, I'm gonna say strength, and um, she's empowering. So that's what I wanna be. That's who I wanna be like, you know? It's, it's I can't explain it into words, but that's what I wanna be when I grow up, when, as I'm working towards it. Well, in the future, I would like to be a singer, of course, because I love singing, but also I would like to be a teacher or an English teacher or a primary school teacher. Actually, I want to be an artist. I like to play piano, I like to sing, I like to write song, I like to sing song, I like everything. I, li I also love to arrange music. I, I want to be a singer. I think it's the best thing I can do in my life. The one thing I can do really, really good. And not just because uh, I am um, I have a big ego or uh, I have a big self-esteem of myself when I sing, but uh, just I know the things I can do and what's the things I cannot do. And uh, I think that singing is one of the things I can do and uh, I want to um, to lead this way in every in every way I can, you know. <laughs> Question number future, I see myself as a singer. And not in Ukraine, but abroad. Um I want to continue writing music because that's I just love doing it and it's a passion and a dream of mine. But I am also studying to become a doctor, hopefully. So two very separate lines which have nothing to do with each other. Yes, I like both of them very much, so I'll be a singing doctor. Um, well, I just want to be a singer because all my life when I was a little girl, I used to say that I want to be um, an actor, but then I changed my mind because I really like singing and like, I don't know, singing is my passion. I, I cannot choose anything else besides singing. Well, right now, I haven't really figured out like specifically what I want to do. I've really been into like fashion design recently and I really, of course, love music. I still want to like sing and write music in the future. Um, I was actually like going to go this summer to write music with my producer in Georgia. But unfortunately, because of COVID, I couldn't do that. But maybe next summer or I don't know, in the future, I'll definitely like write music and do something like that. Question number 10, what do you dream about? I dream about Beyonce, Adele, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Michael Jackson, Freddie Mercury. I want to be one of them and make history in music. Well, I hope so. <laughs> 
The biggest dream is to win a Grammy award and became the first singer in Ukraine to receive this award. And I also dream uh, for opening a shelter for stay animal in future. Yeah, I dream a lot. I, I have many dreams. I dream to be successful in life. And also, I dream of uh, taking picture with Lionel Messi. It's one of my biggest dreams. I'm, I'm a big fan of him. Well, I dream about so many things, but the biggest one, apart from Eurovision, of course, because that's like OMG. <laughs> well, apart from that, uh, I dream about going in the future, if I could, to the Metropolitan Opera House or to the Paris opera or to the Sydney's opera because I love opera so so much and really really much so that would be my dream I aspire to be a young successful confident and classy lady <laughs> I aspire to be a businesswoman and um, I, I aspire to be happy in the future um, I dream about meeting Harry Styles <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream of mine, like Harry Styles, One Direction, they're just my idols and I look up to him so much. I dream about it every day, so that would be, and that Corona ends, so we could go out, we could go abroad and life would be normal. I dream of conquering the music world and just being fulfilled and happy. Um, well, yeah, like I said, I dream about um, dancing and singing and acting on stage. I will dream about performing on the West End, especially. Um, there's so many musicals that I love and just like, oh, wow, I wonder how if I could do that, if I could be on the stage dancing and singing and doing what I love, really. Hmm, I dream about a lot of things, but the thing that I dream the most is being a singer and being like Taylor Swift. Well, I dream that I get further into my career with singing and like songwriting because I feel like it's a great way to express my feelings. I mean, music lets everyone express what they feel. I feel like the Junior Eurovision really helped me like get my career to like really jumpstart so I can like pursue it more, you know, so definitely to write music. If you could move the world and have some magic power, what would you do? And also, where would you go? If you could go any place in the world, just like this. Well, if I could move the world and have some magic power, <laughs> the first thing that I would do, it would say bye bye to the coronavirus and I would remove it from our lives because it's so many people suffering and I don't like that so I would remove it like bye bye <laughs> and if I could travel to any place in the world I have two places that I love one it's Orlando because I love it I love that like the people there the food and all that and also they have a park from Harry Potter and I love Harry Potter so I would like to go there and the other one is Korea because I love BTS I'm a K-popper I'm an army so I would love to meet them firstly I would love to go to Paris I'd love to go to Paris and to New York. Um, those are two, two of my favorite cities that I've never visited before, but I'd love to travel. And um, if I ever had a superpower to move the world, I'd love to have healing powers. You know, just to heal somebody. That's, that's a beautiful thing, I think. If I could um, have any magic power, I would like to be able to fly and I could uh, move between countries and if I would go like any place in the world uh, I would like to visit Tokyo because I'm interested in this country I would like to see how it's there um well my magic power would probably be like getting rid of all the diseases 
just because like COVID is really um, affecting everyone in the world. So like get rid of like any diseases and viruses like COVID. And I would travel to, if I could, I'd travel all around the world, but I'd probably first travel to like Greece or Paris. I think I would, if I had like some sort of power, I would want to um, have teleportation because I love going abroad. So to choose one place is a bit hard for now. So I would choose to go like every country in every world because I just love to travel. But if I had to choose one place, I think it would be England. Because if I go to England, it means that I'm going to see Harry Styles. <laughs> so... <laughs> um. I think where I would love to go in the world is I would love to go to Patagonia um, because there's many there's loads of Welsh um, Welsh uh, people Welsh people travel down there and then which um, meant they picked up the language as well and I'd love to go there and teach them the traditional dancing the clog dancing which I did on the stage in Junior Eurovision um, I'd love to go and do that. And I guess the magic power, um, I think I would want everyone just to meet up again. Because <laughs> we're in the second lockdown again in Wales and I'm really missing my friends. And just to be able to go and hug my friend would be, that would be my power at the moment. It's just to get, to get everyone to meet up again and have fun, really. Uh, first of all, if I have a magic power and if I could move the world, I would definitely stop the virus which collapsed the world uh, and I will turn the world back to the, our one reality. Um, where I, would I want to go? Um, I would love to go to Barcelona and went, uh, wait for Messi. <laughs> mm, I don't know, I would really like to go to Mars, to the planet Mars, I don't know why, like, I think it's super cool. but. I would want to be again in Junior Eurovision more. My answer is... Los Angeles! Mm, I would like to go to UK because uh, I have been in UK like um, in the beginning of this year of 2020 and it, it was such a good experience for me because I have traveled in my life but for singing so i didn't have the opportunity to visit the monuments to visit the um, the best things of a country like uh, i have been to france to washington dc i've been to vienna you know for the general vision to malta but i didn't have the opportunity to visit to enjoy the experience the travel you know and when i went to uk with one of my best friends um it it was such a good experience because uh, i went there just to relax, just to be myself, just to take photos, pictures and take videos when I sing uh, and Instagram stories, you know, and just enjoy the experience. And uh, I would like to, to do some of these things. Last question. What kind of advice could you give to the future participants of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest? Well, our participant of this Junior Eurovision is called Solea and I love her so much, she's so pretty and fun and I, uh, I still gave her an advice um, but now I'm going to say it here Well, my advice was that she has, of course, to enjoy every moment, every minute and every second of her performance and from the time they stayed there and also, I say to her that she has to wear a notebook and to write down all the things that she do every day, you know, like a diary. Because I do it, I did it, and it's so cool when you read it and it's like, oh my god, because there are things that you really don't remember and then you read it and it's like, oh, do you remember that? Yeah, it was so cool. And it's so cool. I wish she do it. <laughs> um... I guess I'd say take everything in in its stride really and try and take everything in as much as you can because it'll be a memory that you'll never forget in the future so try and take in as much as you can try and do and always 
and remember just try do your best on stage it will it's you have it's a one it's in a lifetime opportunity just go on there and sing <laughs> and just be yourself really be yourself you need to believe in yourself no matter what people say and follow your dream sing from the heart and never give up well um just to be themselves and not to like um be straight or stay stage frightened and um just to do their best and not to be scared from the stage because it's a really big stage in junior Eurovision and um I did not be scared I just wanted to do what I I could and I really did think that this is gonna have fun so yeah just have fun on the stage and just live your moment I would say to just have fun and enjoy like all the moments because like you'll remember this for the rest of your life it's an amazing experience like you'll meet so many nice and kind people um and just really enjoy it and show who you truly are you know like be your best self i guess you know don't be afraid enjoy every moment and just try to calm down in every situation there is even if you have 25 interviews a day just stay calm and enjoy every moment because once it ends it, you just miss it so, 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 so much. I mean, the memories are there forever and I will cherish them forever, but it's important to soak in every moment and just have fun and do your best and that's the most important thing. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, my advice would be work hard. Um, know what message you want to portray with your song and what message you want to deliver and simply just go with the flow just go with the flow don't stress about it too much it's you have to have fun just have fun have fun with it <laughs> it's the best thing you can do um first of all enjoy it enjoy every second every opportunity that is given to you meet the other participants don't be shy talk to them uh share your story with them and most importantly don't see Junior Eurovision as a competition, um, but as experience for life that not many uh, have a chance to, to experience it. So enjoy it, take your time and uh, feel like a star. Just, you have to be yourself. This is one of the most important things you have to remember all the time when you are taking rehearsals, when you are on the stage with all the public, with all the public watching you and uh, clapping you you know you just have to enjoy the experience because this is one of the best things that will happen in your life and uh, it happened just once in your life so it's really important you have to enjoy the experience and sing for yourself and not for the people in front of you but for yourself because if you sing for yourself you will really do a good job so Good luck for all the new participants for the general revision. It's a really important thing set and it will change your life. First of all, good luck to you, to all of you. And uh, just have fun. I hope you will have good memories of Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2020.